In this clip, we're going to talk about point and line. Point and line is very important because understanding point and line, you understand the game. The attacker is the one that officially has access to the target or to their target. Once I put point and line out, I'm the attacker, passively attacking. He must eliminate my attack and then make his own attack. So Bob is going to demonstrate that. Let's go. Ready? Okay, what happens now is the referee says, ready, and we say, yes, fence. I back off, and here's point in line. He cannot attack me right into it. Come on, cut right here. No, no, cut. I want you to come right in and cut. Okay. Let's do it again. Okay, ready? Okay, ready, fence. See, I have point in line. I have the priority, but did I hit him? No, he scored. Do it again. Ready, fence. Now I scored because I had point and line out. Now, he's going to take the point and line away by hitting the blade first. Back up. Ready, fence. But if you go through the blade, you'll never get to me. Yep. Okay, ready? <laughs> ready, okay, wait a minute. Here. Ready, fence. Good. Notice I touched him, but he took the blade away. He took my priority away, so he scored. Ready again? Hey. Ready, fence. Oh. Keep insisting on going through the blade. Yes, I do. Okay, ready again. So it's only all you have to do is just wrap it. Tap it. Ready, fence. Good. That was good. Okay, ready, fence. Oh. Now remember we were deceiving the parry? I just deceived his parry and cut. Then I would get the point. So that's the thing about point and line that a person can deceive the attempted taking of the blade and score. So that's the difference between, oh, uh, that's the risk that you take when you're trying to take point and line away from a person. So you have to be watchful.